Hey there, I'm Ina Speak Simply Malekish. You know, every week that passes brings us closer to recovering from the crisis of the COVID-19. The economic challenges that we have will not hold you down. That's the attitude you want to have. It is not going to hold you back. There is a resiliency that you can tap into. If you let yourself, you, you can choose it. Now, the emotional loss of a loved one, if unfortunately you lost someone close to you, there is grief with that. And it's important that you allow yourself to have that grief because in honoring the process of grief, it is a part of the healing. Now, you may have had other losses from the loss of a career, the loss, there's so many that could have happened over this last month and a half, two months. Please respect yourself. Respect that you've been under a tremendous amount of stress, probably more so than any of us even realize till we get on the other side of this. And it's natural for you to uh, have more challenges. So try not to beat yourself up. Be gentle with yourself because think about this. In a drop of a hat, in just a matter of days, the entire world was set on its ear. It was turned upside down and the unthinkable happened. Now, as we slowly move on the other side of this shock, because it was shock, there's a continued damage that the average income person is facing. And it is going to take a while for us to come out of that. So try and remember to be gentle with yourself. Now, there's a lot of you who you did not lose your jobs and you worked from home. And some of you even actually, because you had the extra time, you were able to make appointments. You were able to be more relaxed and talking business. So you, your business actually flourish, not because of uh, hurting anyone else. It was just the circumstances that happened. And that is wonderful. I'm very happy for those of you who were able to maintain working and you survived if you had children raising your children full time, going to school. I should say not going to school, but you becoming the school and becoming the at home crisis teacher, as well as everything else that you did. So now is the time, you know, it's spring. You could see I'm wearing this beautiful rose that I grew in my garden and the fragrance of it just reminds me to relax. Spring is here. It's time for you to fill your senses, smell the roses, see the beauty that's all around you. Learn from mother and father nature, create new ideas. You can manifest beauty in your life. You can manifest something that maybe you weren't, um, you were too busy and you weren't able to create. So the best way to look at this is maximum efficiency with minimum effort. You don't want it the other way around. You don't want minimum um, efficiency with maximum effort. No, no, no. Maximum efficiency with minimum effort. And put your thinking cap on. Maybe you can brainstorm with your friends, uh, with coworkers, and learn to trust yourself. Trust your desires and your ideas to be better. Create something new for yourself and for your family. And by the way, have fun while you do it and let yourself be energized. Cause when you come up with a really good idea, oftentimes that just really kicks your energy. Life is getting back to normal and give it some time. We can't rush this process. Some of you may be still be hanging on to anger every now and then I can feel the frustration of not being able to do not being able to manifest in the way I normally have done in the past. So if you have any anger, now is the time to let it go. I know it's frustrating when you have an answer and you can't apply it. And it's frustrating when you can see that the powerful people with the money, and I'm not talking about our next door neighbors in the million dollar houses. I'm talking about the people who run our planet very much a part of creating this crisis for the entire planet. And you can see it and there's nothing you can do about it. So my invitation to you is live one day at a time. Do what you can do. Do the best you can do with the circumstances that are being given to you. 
And why do you say should you do this? Because it's better than being angry. To recreate and to bring spring and the beauty that's all around you into your state of mind, into your being, and relax, get down into your one point and relax, your life will be better, your family's life will be better, and you will have more peace. Anger's not the way to go at this point. It's learning how to deal with the circumstances with the best attitude you can. Thanks for listening to this video and blessings.